Welcome Libras and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for Tuesday the 8th of March through to Sunday the 13th of March 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question, how does the soulmate of Libra... Oh, wow. OK, so I feel that there's a chapter that's closing closure. Um, I feel that it's a it's um, either you and this person close the door or they close the door on you or you close the door on them. Somebody walked away from this connection, ended, shut the door. Um, I am feeling as if um, that wasn't for the highest good of either one of you, actually. Because what I'm picking up is that the two of you are actually quite deep soulmates. So whoever walked away from this connection, Libra, whether it was you or the other person, I feel as if um, it, was a, it was a major injustice. It didn't serve that. It didn't serve. It didn't serve... Um, the highest good of this connection. Wow. And it could also represent that that cycle now is, is closure. So this either, either this person is coming back round or you are um, going after this person. You may want to reconcile. Let me see what else is coming out. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me your crowning messages? to the question how does this thank you and then we have healing aha uh -huh. yeah somebody's woken up to the fact that walking away from this connection and it could be you you may have walked away or close the door on a connection, uh, Libra, because either you had some deep healing to do, you weren't ready for the connection. I am picking up this healing could be lost bereavement, actually. You just weren't in that headspace. But for some of you, it could be there was just some healing that you needed to do. And I feel that um, and many of you are realizing, particularly if you walked away from this connection, it it wasn't it wasn't the right thing to do it wasn't the right thing to do and i feel that you've got the opportunity to heal that now so it's almost as if healing yeah you're being guided to do that yeah transformation big time transformation it almost feels as if libra it sounds really weird because i don't normally when i get this closure card i normally just think okay it's time to close the door on a situation or a, a situation is is ended finished but for some reason through the channeling and meditation of this reading i am picking up that it was healing that somebody walked away from um it was because somebody needed to, to do, needed to do some healing that they walked away from um a, 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 a situation shut it down re resisted denied it but walked away closed the door on it and do you know something it is healing that is going to um uh close that chapter because it feels as if it really does feel as if an injustice happened and i feel that many of you are being guided to really pay attention to signs synchronicities because your spirit guides are trying to tell you something needs to change here something needs to change because and, and you know something it's almost as if they're trying to say as well that you've got all the tools and knowledge to correct this that's really really deep i also feel many of you um hmm I'm also picking up Libras if you've got a few ailments or um, not feeling too great. Pay attention to your body. OK, you might need to a bit more sleep. Eat a bit more um, healthily or do some exercise or something. Listen to your body. Um, many of you may need a, a little bit of healing, a little bit of uh, self-care. But the key thing here, I feel that you're being guided to um, uh 
listen to your body because I, I feel like uh, if you're the one that walked away from this connection, it really, really does feel as if um, you're having the opportunity to heal this. And it might come out in your body, it, like if you, it's it's like it might come out in your body, basically. So listen to your body, certainly listen to your heart and your intuition, because I feel that your spirit guides are saying that you've got to heal something that maybe you walked away from, or somebody walked away from you, and it's going to take healing to... Um, to uh reunite it's really interesting because your card here libra it says the idealist so was the situation not ideal in some shape form or another did you walk away from something because it wasn't your view of ideal whoever you're connecting with did they did they not come in the the package in which you expected love a deep soulmate a twin flame to come in and so therefore you walked away from it, not realising that actually walking away was an injustice. And it says here, it says um, harmonious, cooperative, balanced, socially aware, artistic, people pleasing, fair, idealistic, as aesthetic, choosy, aspirational, geometric, graceful, considerate, obliging, indecisive, judgment, flattering. These are all the elements that I feel that are the ebbs and flows that are going through this week for you. You could be feeling all of those kind of energies, but they are descriptors of you, uh, Libra. And I feel that you really do have the, the power within you to bring harmony to this situation. Let me continue. What's your crowning wisdom messages? My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning wisdom messages to the question? How does the soulmates of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus? Yeah, you're being guided to ask yourself why. Why did you close the door on it? Why did you close the door in this connection? And to really understand the motivation why you walked away, why you closed the door on this connection, that is when then you'll understand how you can heal it. Like I said, for many of you, you may have closed the door because you had some unhealed wounds and you were being guided that you needed to heal that first before you pursued this person or got into a relationship with this person, or moved to the next level of this relationship. But asking yourself the question, why, will help you to then understand what it is you have to heal in this connection. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning wisdom messages to the question, how does the soulmate of Libra, well, this card wanted to come out, here and now, yeah. I feel right now, um, yeah, Libras, notice this, this, this person sitting at the top of the egg is sad. What is it? You, what does it say here? It says, you are, ah, the flag. It says you are free. I never realised that. Do you know something? I never noticed the detail on that card. It says you are free. I'm being guided to, to, to I'm being guided with this card to let you know that you are free uh, to make a different choice. You are free to be in the here and now. You are free to uh, choose the path that you're going to go on. If you can understand why you walked away from somebody, which, to be honest with you, looking at this person, if you look really, really closely, they're sad. There is an opportunity. You are. It's like you're no longer, forget the past. The past is already done with and don't worry about the future. It's still to come. You can't predict that. Even though with tarot reading, I know people say that, you know, you, you, you don't know at the bottom of the bottom line is right until the future happens. You don't know. So you're being guided to be here and now. You're free. You're free to open up that door 
But look at that. It's the same door. My God, I just realised. It's the same door. I'm not being funny. This is what I mean. This closure door, it doesn't feel like it was the right thing to do. But the closure may have happened because there was healing that you needed to do. And you were being guided that you weren't ready for this connection. But I feel that it's going to take healing to reopen the door because an injustice was done. But you have to figure out what, what the motivation behind why you closed that door. And if you can come to the same conclusion that I'm coming to by just by reading these cards, you needed to do some healing in some shape, form or another. It's going to take the same amount of healing now to reopen that door. And I feel that your spirit team are saying, open the door, be in the here and now. I also, I, I'm picking up... Um, I'm picking up whoever you're connected with. I feel that you have lived many lives with this person and I feel that they're missing your energy. If you walked away from them. Oh, look at that, guys. Yeah, knew it. Milk and honey. You're being guided to reopen the door. Reopen the door because do you know what? I feel that this person is a very deep, deep soulmate. And you know what, if you have the courage to open that door and know that you are free, free from the healing that you perhaps needed to do, which triggered you to close the door on this relationship, deny it, resist it, walk away from it. You're being guided that it was an injustice, but it happened for a reason. And if you can understand that for your individual self, then you're on the road of healing and opening the door to this connection. And there is your milk and honey. It's almost as if it's the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Many of you, if you walked away from this person, it almost feels as if, um, what was I going to say? It was almost as if, Um, they triggered healing for you, triggered healing of an unhealed, unhealed wound, a trauma, loss. And it almost feels as if you like happiness is going to be overflowing. Many of you may um, already know that walking away from somebody shutting down a connection, resisting a connection. It didn't sit right with you. It didn't sit right in your spirit. And I feel that your spirit team are saying there needs to be a transformation with those circles. Transformation. It's like the cycle is over now. Whatever you needed to heal has healed. But know that you are free. You're free now. You're free to open up that door and be in the present. And claim, claim your happiness. Because I do feel that whoever you're connecting with, they may have done some deep healing because either they felt rejected and they've, they've come out victorious, yeah? And I feel that this person does want to rush in to heal the situation, to restore the situation, to reconcile. Wow. Okay, there was something else I was going to say with this card, but it's gone from me. It will come back. It will come back. Um, okay, Libras, um, if this message is resonating for you already, um, if this could cut both ways, we'll get into the cards, but I'm picking up, it's you that walked away, if it's not you, uh, Libra, then it's the other person, and if it is the other person that you're resonating with, then this person is your twin flame, because it's coming up in your crowning messages, so you are picking up their energy, all right, all right, Libras, if this message resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push this uh, video out. 
to other Libras. It also enables you to get those notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, it does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all of your support, encouragement and donations. It's truly, truly appreciated. And I really do hope that you all get something really useful out of this week's reading. Let's get into your main love message to see if we can ascertain uh, who walked away from whom. Okay. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does these soulmates of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Tuesday the 8th of March through to Sunday the 13th of March 2022. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Libra that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above so below and all around me thank you okay let's see okay oh okay so okay so whoever you're connecting with um they're still still stagnant not sure what to do in healing okay done the healing um ready to charge in but they are observing observing how they can now heal this connection but right now they're spiritually still they could be waiting for a sign from you because it could be you that walked away wondering whether or not you are going to heal the connection with them wow look at that didn't i tell you that this person was a twin flame so I feel whoever you're connecting with, they are conflicted. They've got they've got some internal conflict, whether or not they should uh, come towards you and try and heal this connection. Look at that. The Wheel of Fortune right in the center of this reading. Uh, this is a fated connection because they are your twin flame. Many of you, if you walked away from this connection, you are the one that is now realizing that you walked away from um an old your your twin flame basically and that's why it didn't sit right in your in your spirit now many of you you may have walked away because you needed to do some healing um deep heartbreak trauma loss bereavement whatever it is but it, with this wheel of fortune here it's going to turn in both of your favors because what happened it was an injustice. It, it 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 didn't it didn't serve the benefit of neither one of you by you walking away. It feels like you walked away. It didn't serve this connection. And it feels as though this person is very conflicted whether or not they should come forward. It feels as if uh, you're the one that walked away. So therefore it's didn't I say you may have walked away due to healing you you weren't ready for this connection and in this healing process you realize that this person is your twin flame yeah um and it's going to take healing for you to open up the door but i feel that the action has got to be ha, come from you that's why you're being guided you're free you're free you're free of whatever it is you were healing now go claim your um milk and honey go and claim your happiness because this wheel of fortune is in the favor of both of you. This is a fated connection. But this person is conflicted. I feel that they miss you. They do want to reconcile. They do want to restore this connection. But if you're the one that walked away, then it almost feels as if you're the one that needs to initiate it. And so therefore, it's you that has the power to heal this connection. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio or Aquarius here, but you definitely recognize. Or if you didn't or if you haven't recognized, when you really ask yourself the re ask yourself the question, why did you walk away? OK, it could be you needed to do some healing. This person triggered healing in your life. And you are free now from whatever it is you are. You've done the work on yourself. And in the process of doing work on yourself, you now realize this person is your twin flame. 
And so now you have the power to heal the connection. Okay, that's a lot of cards that's coming out here. I don't know why, but they just came out in my hand. Uh, look at that. Yeah, I feel that... Um, So with the Queen of Wands, uh, Queen of Swords, sorry. Do you know something? This feels like you, you cut this person out and you went in a different direction because your back is towards them, but you realise they are your twin flame. And these cards came out. Okay, okay, I'm getting it. It's not, it's like that, I think. So what I'm picking up here, Libra, this could be either way round. I wasn't quite sure, but normally I take from the bottom and lay flat, flat down. I feel as if it's swift, unexpected communication from this person that is going to change this cycle. OK, it feels as if it's fated for them to reach you, to reach out to you. Uh, five of wands and the six of wands uh, they will be victorious if they do you guys okay no it's laid out how it's supposed to you guys cut this person out look at that your energy here the queen of swords you walked you cut this person out and you went in a different direction and many of you, I feel that you're being guided that you can heal this situation because it was an injustice. Um, I feel that the two, that you were with the, okay, let me just take my time here. So we've got the nine of pentacles and the page of wands and the five of swords that's coming out here. With the nine of pentacles, I feel that this is this person. They are somebody I feel that um, is very independent, very attractive. Um, they are... I would say that they are they live quite comfortably okay doing their work you know uh, they're certainly not with you for money or anything like that this person is quite comfortable in their surroundings and they're conflicted whether or not they should uh, reach out to you okay i feel that many of you if they do reach out um uh, to you you will receive them uh, you will meet them halfway because you may have seen this person walk away after you walked away five of swords and the one sword here is a six of swords you want to put this behind you and move forward with this person now because you realize they are your twin flame and it also feels as if as you as you watch this person walk away this person walk away it broke your heart one two three swords it broke your heart many of you with the five of swords communication Communication on your side may not be so great. You're not the greatest of communicators, not when it comes to your emotions. And it was, I feel it was a real battle for you, but you want to put that behind you. And I feel that this person, um, I feel that they are conflicted whether they should reach out to you. If they do reach out to you, you will meet them halfway. Because when they walked away, it broke your heart. Okay, I've got it now. Wow. Let's clarify. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Thank you. Oh my gosh. So whoever you're connecting with, they do see you as their wish fulfillment. Uh, with the star card here. You guys have lived many, many lives together. And I said that, I picked that up whilst I was channeling. Um, oh my gosh. And look. Uh, they want to take a leap of faith with the full card. So this person, honestly and truly, Libra, may come back in this week in some shape, form or another. They are conflicted, though. They are conflicted. But if they listen to their body, listen to their instincts, they will have victory. And there is the victory, the sun card. They will, That I feel that they will, um, it almost feels as if they're going to bite the bullet and reach out to you bite the bullet reach out to you because they want to take that leap of faith you could be dealing with a, a leo or you could have leo in your chart but they, they see nothing but um sunshine victory abundance the sun card is the best card that you can get that's why you're saying you are free now to go claim your milk and honey with this person 
you are free. You are free. Whatever healing needed to be done, it's been done. And it's the same level of healing that you will need to reopen this door and walk through it with this person. And then we, okay, so we've got the justice card that's come out here, Libra. So that's your major arcana. Um, I feel that um, they could have uh, Libra in their chart, um, but they know, I feel that this person knows they know that they have got a soul contract with you. I feel this person knows that you are their twin flame. They want to reconcile. They want to take a leap of faith because you'll have a happiness, wish fulfillment, because they've lived many lives um, with you. You, you. you are their perfect person. And there's the queen of wands. So I feel that this, uh, whoever you're connecting with, male or female, I feel as though... Um, it's fated for them to take action towards you. This person is uh, not only are they attractive, independent, they have their own money, but this person is very passionate towards you. Very passionate. Um, again, very independent. Okay. Uh, with the uh, King of Swords. I feel that um, the Queen of Swords feels like it's you. Mm. Okay. <gasps> oh. My correction, the Queen of Swords is this person's energy. This person is coming towards you to speak their truth. They're going to be guarded. I feel that they want to clear up. Because the king of swords, male or female, it feels like it's your energy. It's like you cut this. Per somebody cut somebody out. I feel that you cut this person out and close the door in this connection. It was fated for you to do that because you may have had healing to do, which is what I said right at the beginning. But because all of these cards look like this person is coming towards you. OK, swift communication towards you. This Queen of Swords uh, actually may be their energy, male or female. They're coming towards you to speak their truth. Yeah, speak their truth, but they're going to be guarded. They're going to be guarded. Again, King and Queen of Swords, divine counterparts. So my apologies, that's not your energy. It's, I mean, it could be both. I mean, it could be both of your energies, but I do feel it was you that closed the door on this connection. And I feel that uh, somebody is speaking their truth and it's, it's your person with that page of wands. And passionately, action. Action, the Queen of Wands is action. The Page of Wands is action. Swords are communication. So this person is coming towards you to speak their truth. They're going to be quite blunt, I would say. They're going to be a bit guarded. I feel that you cut this person out, but you're open to talk because that sword is not across your chest, whether you are male or female. And it almost feels as if... Um, it's almost as if you have realized with that sword um, pointed in that book that this connection is written. It's fated. Wow. Gee whiz. But yeah, the two of you, I feel, have definitely got a soul contract with the justice and the wheel of fortune here. They know it. I feel that they uh, want to reconcile this connection. They want, because um, they see you as their happiness, Wish fulfillment, abundance. You are the person. This person thinks the world of you. We've got Aquarius. Aquarius popping out here. And Libra, obviously, your sign. And Leo. But they want to take a leap of faith. Okay. Oh, wow. And look at that. On your side, you've got the hangman in reverse. So it almost feels as if, <coughs> Libra, 
if you in this time whatever you if you're you're i feel that you're the one that's um closed the door in this connection but by all means it could um flip the script around if, if this is very very specific okay so it could be the other person i feel in the period that um you walked away from this person okay um observing um spiritually stagnant as to what to do i i feel that um with the hangman in in reverse the time apart from this person i feel many of you may have felt that it was it was a lost opportunity a lost opportunity because you cut them out and now you're really realizing that, that, that this connection is written it's almost like this person is written for you and it's almost like your your show your it's like you've been illuminated with the wheel of fortune here it's like the two of you are written in the book of life to be together because you are twin flames yeah and here with the hangman in reverse this is just letting me know um where you were stagnant and still you didn't um pursue this connection you're now feeling that have you missed the opportunity with this person i feel that you haven't i feel that you need to let go of the past many of you if you can again if you can understand why what your motivations were to resist deny walk away shut down close the door on this connection i feel that many of you will realize that you had some healing to do so it's like basically you weren't ready to come into union with your twin flame. But you're ready to give equally to this connection now. But many of you, uh, there was a delay, okay, because this could also mean delay. Uh, but but I, in context of this reading, it feels as if you feel as if you've missed an opportunity. And I feel that you're being guided that you haven't. You can heal this. Yeah, look, there's the, there's the tower moment. So that card does mean um, hangman in reverse next to the tower card means that you've, you feel that you've missed that. You've missed the opportunity. And I feel for many of you that is breaking your heart. With that five of swords, let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. But this person is missing your energy, definitely. They're missing your energy. I feel they do want to reconcile, balance out this connection, take a leap of faith. I mean, this person wants to reunite. There's no doubt about it. No doubt about it. And if it does resonate that um, that it's this person that walked away, okay, um, the same messenger applies. The same messenger applies. Just flip the script where I'm saying it's you, it's them, okay? But the way that I'm seeing it at the moment is that because many of you, you may have walked away. But I feel it's this person coming in to speak their truth. Um, but they're going to um, be very, very guarded. Thank you. Oh, the Empress. Now, there's two ways I can read this. If um, this is... I feel that this is this person's energy, male or female. I feel that they're coming in to speak their truth, um, but they're going to do it in a very nurturing way with the Empress here. I feel that many of you are thinking of this. This is probably why this Queen of Swords is coming up in your main, the main cards here, because I feel that you're thinking about this person, thinking that it's a missed opportunity. And I feel that it's quite devastating for you. Because you may have watched this person walk away from you. So it feels as if you shut down the door, you close the door in this connection and you watch them walk away. Maybe they didn't fight for the connection. And that broke your heart. And I feel with the Empress here, I feel that you're thinking about this person. Uh, I, I feel that you think the world of them. They could be somebody that you could build a family with. You see them as very nurturing somebody that's got high standards they're coming in i feel to speak their truth the knight of swords yeah it's coming from this direction again 
they might be um, a little bit upset as to why you closed the door on this uh, connection. Because it almost feels as if um, Libras, uh, you close the door on this person, okay? You will cut them out. And um, it feels as if they had no choice but to walk away as well. Because you shut the door on the connection. And I feel many of them with the Knight of Swords. This person is rushing in to speak their truth. These um, crows is universal truth. So be prepared because I feel that this person isn't going to be... Um, uh, what's the word? They're not going to hold back their truth. If they were upset and sad about it, I about you closing the door in this connection, they will let you know. But they're going to do it in a in a nurturing, kind way. Wow. Let's clarify the nine of pentacles. Just in case if this is your energy, if you're picking up. No, it's not. It's the, whoever's on this side is here right all these this is all this is this person so if you sit on this side uh libras because it is a twin flame so you could be sitting on either side and this person could have closed the door um it's you that's coming in to speak your truth all right and you're going to do it in a in a, a nurturing kind way Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles, yeah. So I feel whoever you're connecting with, with the Queen of Pentacles, um, they're stagnant, I think, to come in and offer um, something solid with you. They're conflicted about that because you may close the door on that idea. Uh, with the Nine and the One Pentacle here, this person definitely wants to build a future with you. But they're conflicted. It's like if this person does reach out to you unexpectedly because the page of wands is unexpected communication, they may not talk about building a future with you because I feel that they would be apprehensive because you might just shut down that door, shut, shut that, shut the door on that idea. But this person is definitely ready for long term marriage commitment. So whoever's on this side is this person here, the empress. High standards, balanced, grounded, somebody you can rely on, nurturing. It's all the elements of um, the Empress here. But they are also truthful. You know, sometimes they could be a bit cutting, but they, they, they're not going to mince their words. They're not going to mince their words. But they will do it in a nice way. All right, my angels and spirit guides. Oh, thank you. I feel the two of swords. Oh, there's another card underneath. Oh, my gosh. So the five of swords. I feel, yeah, look at that. This person was heartbroken that you closed the door. You were heartbroken when you watched them walk away. They were heartbroken that you close the door in this connection. They may have spoken to other people about this, about you walking away. They may have spoken to other people. And then this page of uh, wands, can we see all of those? Yeah, the, the page of wands that's coming out here. Let's just put this up here for a sec. And then we've got the two of swords. Yes, yeah, so this person is, they want to come in with unexpected. They want to come in and communicate with you. I feel that they're being moved to do so. But with the two of swords here, uh, I feel as if they're either going to be focused to come in and speak their truth with that crow there. Okay. But with the two of swords, they're not sure how to initiate this conversation. Well, we saw that they're conflicted. With the nine of wands here, I feel that many of you, again, you're going to meet this person halfway. Look at that. Look at those two people facing each other. 
The, the nine of wands is the wounded warrior. Okay, you're going to surrender, surrender to talking, to reciprocating, meeting this person halfway. If they have the courage to um, come forward and talk to you, because at the moment they're feeling quite uncertain. Okay, uncertain, but they will be victorious if they can talk. If they can come in and talk or reach out to you. But I feel that many of you, you will surrender to this connection. You will reciprocate a conversation. Let's clarify the five of swords, please. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you clarify the five of swords for Libra? Sun, moon, rising and Venus in love. Oh, oh, look at that. I didn't even see that. Uh, I, the three of cups, you're going to be celebrating. Didn't I say that you're going to you're, you're going to want to spend time with this person? You're going to reciprocate a conversation. You want to get to know this person again. You want to celebrate this connection. Wow. I told you that closure of that door, I picked it up in my spirit straight away. And there's the death card, a transformation. Wow, could be dealing with the Scorpio or you could have Scorpio in your chart. Absolutely. Do you know what? Actually, it's quite a beautiful reading. It's quite a beautiful reading. It almost feels as if Divine Spirit knew that there was an injustice, but it was fated to happen in this way, Libra. It was fated because many of you, you may have had um, some sort of healing that this person, for whatever reason, when you encountered them, they triggered that. They triggered that you needed to heal from something. And it's that same energy of healing that will heal this connection. So really pay attention to your body pay attention um, to what your body is telling you and think positively because I feel that there's a real that has all the potential to have a real positive outcome here you guys are going to be celebrating this connection because you're going to surrender to the conversation meeting them halfway coming together and there's the transformation with the death card it almost feels as if look you're walking through that door because you're free now, you're free. You're free to walk through that door and heal the situation. So go claim your milk and honey. Because I feel that this, this connection is um, very, very divinely guided. Wow. Let's have a look and see what your advice is. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please come. Thank you. And then it says here, trust in divine order. You are being helped. Yeah, absolutely. You're being helped through your spirit team with the wheel of fortune. This is going to turn in both of your favours. So trust your intuition. Listen to what your body's telling you. Okay. Your heart. Um, listen to what is being told because you're being helped. You're being encouraged. Yeah. To take this opportunity to go claim your milk and honey. And it says work daily towards improving your mental health. So I feel that you're being guided um with um uh, working on your mental health i feel that you're being guided to speak out what you want speak out positively what you want if you want transformation if you want um a new beginning with this person because you now realize this person is important to you they are your twin flame uh speak it out try not to let the whole situation um entrap entrap you mentally uh, i feel that you have the power within you to heal your spirit team as they say here are helping you and then your final card it says take time to acknowledge the subtle changes in your spiritual evolution and do you know what that is i'm picking up many of you you needed to close the door on this connection because you had previous unhealed wounds that you needed to address before you came into union with um your twin flame yeah and I feel that you're being guided to acknowledge that acknowledge that it was part of your spiritual evolution which only this person could have triggered this level of deep healing for you and now you're ready I feel now you're ready to um 
yeah, claim your milk and honey with this person. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to leave that there for you, Libras. Um, please check out your moon rising and Venus signs. Uh, that could give you some more information on this journey. If this message, message resonated for you, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye-bye.